Harper Lee said many receive advice only the wise profit from it Harper Lee was an American novelist she wrote the 1960 novel to kill a mockingbird that won the 1961 Pulitzer prize and became a classic of modern american literature many receive advice many receive money many receive a lot of degrees only the wise profit from it but those who put it into practice and to put it into practice it is not possible it is not at all possible to put it into practice because it is to come from the samskriti from the culture of your family from your childhood from the childhood now they take the children to the schools play homes nursery schools where they teach the children to talk back and none of the schools have taught the children how to love the parents and how to accept the reality of the culture not a single school teaches the children what is health how to keep the health how to keep the love what is nature how to save the rain water how to have solar lights so that we can bring down poverty nothing of that they are teaching them something stupid and then if you find out that is a stupidity then they create a huge amount of campaign on debate on quiz on competitive ideas and make the people fight among themselves create creating hate is the way of life for schools and colleges even sometimes we are also affected terribly because the education department is made in such a way that you are forced to follow them otherwise you will be put into trouble harper lee said many receive advice yes when you have the money and if you do not save and spend then the advice has got no value that money has got no value everybody you uh, receive advice everybody receives salary but how how many of them profit from it receiving when before much before you receive that salary it is your duty to find out how much i'm going to save and then only i spend one businessman that is from a marwadi community came and told me look in our custom we taught, teach our children the very first year you spend 90% and 10% you save second year 75% you spend and 25% you save third year 50% you spend 50% you save fourth year 75% you save and 25% you spend and on the fifth year 90% you save and 10% you spend can you believe the saving mentality has gone so deep inside not just you save you create the facility that the money doesn't go out but it comes the what you spend it keeps giving you the interest so at the end of the 6 year you hardly spend anything it keeps coming back if that is understood that one community has become one of the richest in the world not only in india many receive advice only the wise profit from it many receive very good yoga lessons karate lessons sports lessons but how many benefit from it to benefit it's a non stop not not six days and seventh day you go and rest there is no resting in this in this part of the exercise of the body the body is pumping blood non stop you breathe every seven days you breathe every day every second otherwise you become a nobody So how come you stop? Your body has to be maintained every day. Whatever you have practiced, you keep adding. What happens here? People practice one thing and then they will leave that and they go to another jack of all trades, master of none. When that happens, then the slavery is thy thy name. Then the disease enter. Your body doesn't have the resisting power. All the seven days it has to breathe. All the day, the seven days it has to pump. In the week it has to pump the blood. The moment it stops even for a day, you stop your exercise even for a day. The very next day you find difficulty getting the stretching. 
Stretching the body is very, very important to keep diseases away. That is the biggest saving. Your pranayama is the biggest saving. Cleansing internal parts by fasting once a month or once a week, giving the body enough space to cleanse the internal parts is a saving. Harper Lee, born on 20th April 1926 in the United States, died on 19th February 2016 in the United States, said many receive advice, but the wise profit from it.